Hi guys, welcome to Draw Dazzle. Alright, this is lesson two. I don't need to give you any details about, you know, blah 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 blah. This thing was made about blah blah blah. Okay, so, complex and detailed art. Tell me, what is complex and detailed art? There really is, it's a complex definition itself. It requires certain elements or keys, which are featured in this video. I told you I had good advice. Rules, guidelines. There are very few guidelines in this. Take your time. Like I said, work hard, have fun. Basics. Keys. Oh my god, that's a new category. Ooh. Details. If you draw a stick person and you're like, I'm doing art teacher, she's going to look at you like, Excuse me? Now, some of these examples out here required stick people because I was in a rush because the phone was about to die, so. Okay. Shading. You're going to learn about shading later in a different video. This is going to be, there's going to be a whole different thing. It's not going to be featured in this, actually. It's just one of the keys or elements. Many props. Now, detailed art should require a couple props, like, let's say this whole room is a painting. Now, props are items, like, this purse would be a prop, this bag would be a prop, the computer, the paper, the pencil. Every inanimate object would be a prop if this was a painting. Okay. Next, essence. If you show, if you, like... If you see a painting and you're like, let's say if you take a look at this painting and you're not me and you don't think this is awesome painting, what if you thought there's something's not right about that painting and maybe you think it's not enough essence or there's not enough, you know, blah, blah, blah. it's that kind of blah, blah, blah thing in your head. That's what I call it because it's not really no thing in your head. But it's like something's not right with it. It doesn't have enough of the blend or essence. So yeah, meaning if you walk up, let's say we walked up to the artist of this painting and we asked them, so what's the meaning of this painting? And they just say, hmm. dude, they're probably going to say, like, let's say they had a cat and they were thinking of, well, a doily. Because I think that's what the thing above his head is. So, let's say he was thinking he was playing with this cat, and there's a doorway on the coffee table. And he said, "Well, since they were there, and I had some paints by me, I decided to paint. Bam! That would be meaning." Okay, I'll show you some really crappy examples of detailed art. These are like two forty-second art. So, all right. Now, how many props are there? This could include hillsides tables. The ground. The ground would count as a prop in my opinion. Some artists don't think that. Alright, that's one, two. A person counts as a prop too. Three, four. The background doesn't count as a prop. So four props are needed. But let's take a look at this. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now that person really wanted to keep detail in that. Compare. Which one is more detailed? A door. This one. Let's get started with drawing some detailed art. Alright. We're going to start with something basic. A detailed butterfly. You, you start out by drawing a stick. Alright. This is like the least of my drawing ability, so. Then... You draw some wings. They have to be symmetrical, or if you're one of those creative people. Well, why did I even say that? That's just controversial. controversial. But if you kind of want to get all wild and make them insymmetrical, whatever you want to call it, that's okay. That just shows you're a more creative person to me. Okay. Now, you add the antenna, or antennae, as some people say. They can be like this, or you can add little circles to them. I personally like adding circles to mine because I think it looks cute that way. Add, I'll add circles to mine. Then, 
when you draw a butterfly and you turn it into your art teacher and she says and she looks at your drawing and she's like uh excuse me and you're like what it's like you need detail it's like what it's called a detailed art you dig that and you're like oh detail what do you add to a butterfly especially a butterfly they're so freaking beautiful you add detail this is just a rough sketch, so don't make fun of me for it. So you go. Bloop, bloop. I know this isn't manga or anything, but you have to worry about detailed art before you can remotely start into manga. Or, you know, I'm talking about chibis. Then, you can't just add a poofy poo, you have to add something else. Like polka dots. So you keep adding the polka dots, and make sure your fo focus is another really good key and guideline. It's one that fits under all the categories. So make sure you have all of that. Okay? Now, let's say I'm done with the polka dots. You add something else, like a heart, in each center. Alright? So yeah, that's the detailed art for you. Add your signature. I don't have time to because it's time's about up. Well, thanks for watching Dazzle, Draw Dazzle. There's gonna be, there's gonna be a couple episodes or lessons afterwards until I teach you the final ep lesson. So keep watching. Thanks. Bye. Do 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 detail. Oh.